how y'all been doing is Anna here. I feel like we should do like uh, random challenges for random topics. That would be fun, you know, trying something new. So why not? Okay. The action comes after a 22-year-old man who ha who has already been charged with breach of the peace shot at the Duke of York on the Royal Mile on 12th September. The two men, both aged 34, are accused of dragging the heckler to the ground. The incident happened while King Charles led senior members of the royal family to St. Gilles a uh, cathedral following behind a uh, hearse carrying carrying the late monarch a police garland spokesperson said two men both at age uh, 34 have been arrested and charged with con in connection with assault following an incident on the royal mall around 2 uh, 50 p.m on monday The Queen died at her uh, memorial estate on Thursday, 8 September. Her body was returned to London ahead of, fl of flying in state at Westminster, or where more than 250,000 members of the public paid their respects, many queuing for hours through the night. Britain's longest service serving monarch was laid to Rest on 19 September at Windsor Castle following a state funeral. Patricia Patricia Agnes teen's skeletal remains identified through relatives DNA after she went missing in 1975. The skeletal remains of a teenage girl who went missing in the U.S. state of Virginia nearly 50 years ago have been identified thanks to a DNA breakthrough. Patricia Agnes, also known as Choby, was last seen in the city of Fairfax on 8 February 1975. She was 17 at that time. On 21 September 2001, a woman remains were found by the construction crew behind an apartment complex and near a drainage ditch along with some clothing. Fairfax County Police say the remains have now been identified as those of Miss Galdewee. Galdewee. Following the discovery 21 years ago, an initial review found she died from a gunshot wound to the head. The report, the report also indicated the remains were likely that of an African and American female in her late teens to early 20s. However, cold case detectives have been working on this year with Alt-Ram, which does DNA testing and forensic grade sequencing and established the remains belong to a white female. When I gave them my DNA, they sent it to the lab while they were sitting here in my living room, and they had a 100% DNA match within 15 minutes, she said. Mr. Dubuli said Mr. Gilda Lee was dating an older man at that time, at the time who loaned her a wild Cadillac Eldorado with red interior that she was driving the last time Miss Dubuli saw her. It was also the day Mr. Dubuli noticed bruises on her half-sister, bruises on her upper arms, her shoulders, and the back of her legs, she told, she told NBC News. I said, well, why are you so black and blue? She said, I fall a lot. I said, no, you don't. Police are keen to talk to her boyfriend, but they don't know his name, only that he was in his 30s at the time of Miss Gunley's death and worked at a now-closed 
a forestry store near Church Street and Lawyer Road in the town of Vienna, Virginia. To this society and what we have contributed and what we have done to make it to this far. A selection of terrifying knives discarded by the fleeing attackers include a combat knife, a ramble style blade, and a zombie style brushed from Thornton Heath, South London, and Lewis of Kington, South London, were remain into custody to be sentenced at a later date. Previously, a fourth defendant, Patrick Foss Pinto, 18, from Bow, East London, was clear, clear of all charges after the prosecution offered no evidence. NHS staff told to take extra caution extracting organs after brain dead babies start breathing. The safety alarm sent to the staff at NHS Blood and Transport, seen by Sky News, advised them to pay particular particular attention, particular attention to pre condition and red flags in children after the boy began breathing independently. The, child father, the child's father has told Sky News that extra caution is not good enough. They did four brain stem tests on him, test on him and certify his death. When I asked whether there was an alternative test, they said no. If there's just one test to prove someone is alive or dead, it should be 100% accurate. They said it's a miracle. It's not a miracle. This is faulty medical science. Doctors treating the child at the London Hospital conduct two sets of brain stem, stem, stem tests before seeking a second opinion to confirm their diagnosis. Two weeks later, a nurse at the hospital noticed the boy, then four months, was breathing. RM, ARMC, which, which says the test said in August it would rewind the code of practice on brain stem testing after the child case came to light. This week, it, it told Sky News it has speed up the process with a report due to Freddie in months. It has no offer parents or hospital advice on what to do in the meantime. David Jones, a professor at Biophics at State Mary University, warned there was a risk of organs being extracted from living children if clinicians got diagnosis wrong. A doctor could have said this child is dead and they could have taken his organs, Professor Jones said, John says. They didn't, but they didn't because of an ongoing legal issue and because they didn't, they later found out he wasn't dead. More and more uh, are now expressing, expressing concerns about brain stem testing, according to Professor Jonas. If the test is a matter of life or death um, if and if it's dead means you can take organs you want certainty i think some of certainty has been taken away by this case rather than people who were spectators being a minority i think there are a lot of people who have been who have become spectacle of the test at least in relation to children